What's up guys, Trojan here. Welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. So last time, I finished up all that I could do in the first trip to Sandover Village and got a power cell for my uncle. So I'm going to do a little bit more stuff in Sandover. And probably also check on uh, exactly how many power cells I need in order to finish the zoomer and then head out to the forbidden jungle why does the farmer have a captured scout fly in his house is the farmer not telling us something do you work with the lurkers what are you up to buddy oh right, yeah so fire cannon so this is the the current objective right now is to just get through here. You don't have enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. You can't cross Fire Canyon until you collect enough power cells. Okay, 20. Okay, I was right. It is 20. And how many do I have right now? 12. I only need 8 more. Not bad. Yeah. The, the thing that actually is... that One of the things that's great about this game is how digestible it is. So, excuse me, I don't know why I'm burping so much. Um, you can pro you can beat this entire game in one sitting. It's really not that hard to collect at least enough power cells to finish the game. I've done it plenty of times before where you just like, you have an afternoon to yourself, you can just sit down and within the span of an afternoon, four hours, like, 2 in the afternoon to 6, you'll have the game finished, provided you know what you're doing. I mean, if it's your first time playing, give yourself a little bit of time, but you'll you'll do it, you'll beat it easily. It, it took me forever to beat it as a kid, that's just because I was a child. And I kind of sucked at video games as a child. Anyway, listen to this guy. I've been trying to get those Unreal cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal him earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get him back into the corral? All right, so I got to herd the yak cows. Uh, the how exactly do I do that? You ask. Well, how else? <laughs> of course, you got to kick them to get them moving. No? Yes. Okay, there we go. I honestly thought they were gonna act like the goat herding from Twilight Princess where they'll just veer off away from the opening to the pen as soon as you walk near it. <laughs> I'm missing one of the scout flies from Sandover and I genuinely don't remember where it is. So, for whatever reason, it, it just popped into my head about one of the, I think one of the funnier moments in Jack 2, uh, because for whatever reason, Jack doesn't talk in this game, and it's not because he can't, I think it's just because he doesn't, because all of a sudden he starts talking in Jack 2, but it actually causes characters that have known him to not realize that it's him because they haven't heard his voice before. There's a point where like there's a character from that lazy farmer owes Jack, where from this game shows Let's up in Jack 2, but is talking to Jack through a curtain and can't tell that it's him oh, until Daxter says something because they've never heard his voice before. I don't even know exactly what these pa what the people are using these power cells for. Yeah, they're just giving them away. Uh, uh, sorry. Yawn there. Like, if I really wanted to, I could probably beat this whole game in one sitting and then just release these parts gradually. But I honestly only really want to get 
maybe like a two hour session in. So I can get to work on the next video. Because like at this point, even though this is like, what is this point, part four? I, this is still the same play session as this must be a precursor. like the last three parts. This has all been one play session. I've just Wait. been releasing the parts the gradually. Within. Just so that I have a bit more consistent content coming out. For the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs. I forgot, for I keep forgetting to stop talking. Anyway. For your gift, another power cell is yours. Yeah, this is the precursor oracles. Each hub area has one of them. They will trade you two power cells for usually about 120 power cells each. Alright, so I can already tell since I have 15 power cells I can go into if I go into the jungle if I get all the power cells there I will probably have enough to I'll probably have enough just to, to head off to the next area. Um... I'm probably going to end up coming back to Misty Island for those power cells. Because again, as I mentioned before, there is a level in this game that I am planning to skip entirely. I'm probably going to at least go into the level just to show it off, but I have no intention of actually playing it. It's the snowy mountain area from the third hub world. From the third hub area, I should say. Hi! Oh, hey, found all the orbs from Sandover. Cool. I always like it when that pops up. Makes me feel like I accomplished something. Yeah, th this is also the thing that's great about this. Because, like, you just walk. There's no... Unlike, you know, Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, even other games that came out around this time, like Sly Cooper, um, still had the actual like level transitions but this game you just walk over into the area and you're in the level it's all seamlessly interconnected and i honestly think i don't know if it's the first or one of the first games to have a seamlessly connected world yeah because i remember back when dark souls was all the rage and all my friends were playing that game one of the things everybody was praising that game for was it seamless was a seamlessly connected world and i'm just like jack and daxter did it first Ah, oh, there's the, <sighs> the fisherman. Ah, oh, I hate this. I hate this minigame so much. Anyway, let's talk to the fisherman. By the way, he's voiced by Kevin Conroy, otherwise known as Batman. Anyway, let's talk to him. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fisherman, but now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. Alright. I usually do fairly decently, but I just know this since I'm recording myself. There are two types of good fish. It's not to gonna catch. go over well. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. Hey. <laughs> If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. All right, so I gotta catch 200 pounds of fish without missing 20 pounds worth. These green ones are worth one, the yellow ones are worth five. Alright, and I also cannot catch a single eel. Steady boy. I also don't even know if this is like an actual like fixed pattern that's the same every time. I genuinely don't know. But this part is notorious. Alright. Steady boy. 
What the fuck is this? Come on, come on. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, there we go. You got two hundred pounds. Here's the power. Ah, that part is that's easily the hardest thing in this game. <laughs> is catching two hundred pounds of fish. Ah, my palms are sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> he just sits there laughing maniacally. I don't even know where all those fish came from. Because this is the flow of the river is going this way. Where did all those fish come from? <laughs> that, that laugh <laughs> sounds so maniacal and I don't even know why. Alright, anyway. On with... Alright, so the overall goal of the Forbidden Jungle is to get into the temple. So that way you can turn on the blue eco vents all throughout the world. Which I think that also is going to contain the game's first boss. I'm pretty sure it's the first boss. I think there are, there aren't really too many. There's also kind of, that's honestly interesting about the ow. <laughs> and that's interesting about this game. Come on. What's interesting about this game is there aren't really a whole lot of bosses. I honestly think there's really just three of them in the whole game. Like you don't fight a but like in most cases you don't fight a boss before progressing to the next hub. Um, in fact, there's only one hub. If it, I think only the second hub has a boss before you move on. Oh, yeah. Uh, these little these little things are dark eco crates. Anybody who's played Crash Bandicoot, which is another Naughty Dog title like this one, uh, it probably is familiar with the general principle. Um. Don't touch them. Because they will explode. Yeah. There's another power there's a power cell. Oh god! Oh. Out there in the water. You want to be very careful when you go out into deep water because there is a creature called the lurker shark that will swallow you whole if you venture out too far into the water so you gotta be very careful when you're swimming in deep water anyway all right with that power cell i am going to call it here so i'm the trojan with digital bloodlines thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you all next time <laughs>